As the landscape of the financial sector and function of payments continue to evolve, one major US operation is seizing the opportunity to drive forward its push for improvements. Wells Fargo is bringing a client lens to payments operations and streamlining its model for bank operations. It's also leveraging artificial intelligence and introducing a series of new systems to ensure tighter controls are in place for customers. Well, earlier, Juliet Foster spoke to Lester Owens, Senior Executive Vice President and Head of Operations at Wells Fargo, to explore the depth of change that's taking place. She began by asking him how Wells Fargo is driving goals in payment transformation. You know, instant payment has continued to evolve. You know, when I think about uh, what's happened in uh, faster payments in the UK, then you think about SEPA, and then you think about what the Clearinghouse did a few years ago with real-time payments, and now you have FedNow uh, being introduced in 2023. That there's no question that we need to be prepared for it. And you know, there are a number of things that come to mind. One is that uh, when you talk about 24 by 7 around the clock, what we're doing is to be able to gear up to be able to do that and service our clients in the right way globally so that they, they know that we're there for them. That's, that's really big. And part of the way to do that is you know, leveraging our digital platforms as well as data uh, and continuing to drive forward towards that, that we're building and enhancing the overall command center uh, that allows us to see real-time data um, regardless of where you are across the globe. And that's going to help us to, uh, go forward. But there's no question that this is something that we're continuing to focus on. Mm. And in the, in the sense of, of going forward, how are you bringing the client view to the work of your teams? You know, it's uh, when you think about the client, uh, the first is we think about it uh, end to end uh, and asking ourselves, you know, what is the client looking for that is sustainable really for the long term? Uh, one of the things we're looking to always do is simplify the process for the client, client. Uh, always looking horizontally instead of just vertically so that the product offering that we're providing is consistent. Um, obviously, we look at things like cyber and, and resiliency, but at the end of the day, we're also looking at all the tools that we have between data, artificial intelligence, we talk about robotics, uh, process mapping, all those things come into play in making sure that when we think about the product, we think about the client holistically going forward. Mm. And let's stay with this idea because clearly it requires a foundation. So what is the foundation that you've established in operations so that you can fulfill that goal of supporting your clients? You know, it starts with our people, right? And making sure that our people feel like they really understand the client making sure that we empower um, our people to make sure that we're making decision in the most effective way possible. The other thing we talk about is making sure we continue to strengthen our risk and control environment and making sure that we build platforms that are sustainable for the long term. You know, and when you take all of those um, in, uh, in unity, then um, you know, that's what the client, I believe, is really looking for. And we spend a lot of time with the clients understanding what their request is, not only today, but in the future, but also we just need to make it easier from a straight through processing standpoint as well. So let's broaden things out now. How is Wells Fargo thinking about innovation in that payment space? You know, when we think about innovation, we think about the client end to end uh, and asking ourselves, you know, how do we service the client in the most effective way throughout the entire uh, value chain. Uh, we definitely are leveraging digital, all the tools that we have with artificial intelligence. You know, you think about robotics, uh, we're looking at process mapping, et cetera. But all of these things help to be able to service the client in a timely and effective way. Um, and uh, we're continuing to make sure that our people and our staff has the tools in order to service the client on a timely basis as well. So we're really, really excited because we are investing heavily uh, in this space to make sure that we provide the client exactly what they're looking for. Mm. So given that, how are you leveraging artificial intelligence? You know, it's a good question. We, uh, there's a number of different areas that we look at. 
Uh, and I'm just going to give you a, a, some sums. So one is, you know, there are times that we have something called, we call it intelligent automation. And, and in some cases, you may have, um, you know, paper-based transactions that you really want to automate. Uh, and one of the ways to do that is to be able to use, you know, what we call image character recognition, optical character recognition. We index it, uh, but we also use API connectivity as well as leveraging uh, artificial intelligence. And when you use artificial intelligence in the right way, then what you're doing is teaching a system where there are key words and phrases in a transaction to then standardize that process. So that with the, we're, with the, we're really super excited about it because now we're able to process transactions in minutes versus hours. Um, and so that's significant. We're also leveraging it in our contact centers, right? And um, um, using it in order to self-service uh, the client where we possibly can, which we think uh, really is important uh, because you know time is of the essence in that case. Uh, we're continuing to look at our digital strategy develop all the front end tools to make it easier for clients to do business with Wells Fargo. So those are just some of the examples that I think is gonna uh, continue to set um, the future for us going forward. So then what are the top priorities right now? Well, you know, it's uh, in no particular order. Uh, we'll continue to look at um, further strengthening our risk and control agenda because I think, you know, when you're a financial institution, you're continuing to look at, at that. It's not a one-time event, it's continuous. Uh, number two, continue to invest in our people uh, and making sure that they feel like they've got the right tools to be successful and service our client base. Number three, obviously, is our clients, right? And making sure that we understand their needs, not only for today, but for the future, and, and number four, it's all about the transformation, the question that you asked earlier, and how can we leverage the tools and the systems or applications that is what the client is looking for uh, and doing it in such a way that we can provide data, whether it's reporting, whether it's payment processing, in a really efficient and safe environment. So really, those are some of the things that we're looking uh, and continuing to do here at Wells Fargo. Sadly, that's all we've got time for. But Lester Owens, who's the Senior Executive Vice President and Head of Operations for Wells Fargo, thank you so much for speaking to us and enjoy Cybos 2021. And thank you as well, Juliet. Have a good day. Thank you.